okay peeps we are going to make a snow globe i've got this part of it can't find the bottom so i'm going to use wood so to begin with you need to fill this up now i've made some um resin up it's still got quite a few bubbles in it that's the only problem that i'm worried about because once you get it in it's hard to do it hard to debubble it so i'm going to pour it from the height i've got 80 80 mil in here which is 40a 40b using t expert and it's a one-to-one -one volume so i don't fit it up too much because i've made this mistake before now this goes in oh i've got loads to fill up and i <laughs> so i'll put that on and then with the pet I fill the pet up hopefully hopefully it's a bit slow here it comes it's filling up slowly sorry I should have had all this ready shouldn't I all prepped right okay and then there's holes on the top you stick your pipette in the hole and you let it go hopefully without adding bubbles and you continue doing that until you filled up your snow globe don't overfill it you overfill it then you end up with a nasty ridge done that in the past as well so I'll come back once I've filled this because I'm just going to keep putting my pipette into that slot and filling the resin in. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, that's filled up. To clean my pipette, I'll squirt some alcohol into a little pot. And I'll just suck it up and squeeze it out. usually this does clean it that's it all I need to do now my pet's good to use again I always turn my pets upside down as well when I store them, just in case they have got any more resin in it. And as this is just clear resin, a bit of alcohol, stick it back in the pot. Just like that. And done. Okay, so now it's this bit that to one side um, obviously I don't need all my resin so I'm going to pour some in here not a lot I'll be using that resin for something else and then I'm going to put some of this snow artificial snow in That fell in. I want it into a paste. Oh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've put a little bit of glitter in. And I'm going to put a little bit of this in as well. To give it a bit of a shivery shine. Ooh. 
see if it will come out. If it will come out. I've only cut a little tiny hole because I didn't want it all falling out. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, have I got a pen or pencil here? No, I haven't, I don't think. I don't know where they've all gone. Because I'm thinking that if I... I'm thinking if I put it all on, then I've got to try and make a bit of a groove. So what I'm going to do is put this on, like this, make sure it's all around the edge, around that edge, I, think I need to clean my bone out with some of my photos. Because it keeps stopping on me. To dry and what I'll do is when it's dry I'll show you the next step hiya this is all dry hopefully this will be all right as well take that off and oh, it feels like it might be a little bit bendy but it should be all right hold the peggy bits no nope, that ain't gonna work doesn't really matter I suppose if it's not completely round well, that's one half off let's see if we can get this half off this is a pain in the backside this half so bit of a alcohol in there give it a squidgy round in a minute I'm going to squidge it round yeah it's still bendy look never mind that's fine as long as I can get it out <laughs> that's the thing if I can get it out I'll give it a squidge round it could always get hard when it's oh it's gonna be a pain in the backside this is I remember last time I had trouble getting this out and that's before it, when it was solid <laughs> oh no come on baby out ah, there you go there you go sort of <laughs> it did go it's moved. It has moved. There it is. Push it from the bottom. There you go. And that's out. There you go. It's got a little bit of a rim for the bottom because I didn't fit it right up. But that's fine. So that's going to sit on there like so. But before I do that, I'm going to put on um my that looks a bit too much white i think oh and there's the other one i was gonna go in there um can't remember if i've got anything that's got more color to it Let me 
get that out. Oh, oh these are tree hangers. <laughs> not for me, they're not. If I can undo them, separate them. There you go. That's got a... Right, let's take that off. <clears throat> Where's my scissors gone? Oh, I see it's glued in. It's completely glued in. So let's get on the back. And then that one as well. Try not to cut anything I shouldn't be cutting. Because these scissors are just about at it, I think. Okay. So give me two secs. Okay, what I've decided. Is I've got a little white deer, an acorn, my reef thing and a Christmas tree. Now I've got to make sure they all go in sort of like, uh, I think I'll put the tree in the front and then maybe that so they've got a different side to look at. As long as, oh, I want you. As long as it all fits in that bit, which it does. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my E6000. Not sure how long this takes to um, cure up, to be quite honest. Right, so my tree. That's the problem. It's a bit uneven. <coughs> my tree and fall over maybe UV is better hmm there you go have a do and the acorn. This I thought was supposed to, no, I thought it was supposed to be a quick dry thing, but maybe it's not. I don't know where my five minute poxy's gone. So let's get this out. I ain't got a lot left of it. Mm. My good old faithful will work. Okay. So let's put the deer on. As you can see, I ain't got a lot left. Okay, so deer's going on there. Uh, cure up. And then the reef. You want it knocking onto the actual reindeer. It's all moving. None of it sticking properly. That's probably because I've got such an uneven surface. So I'll push it down. Right, 
put loads on that one so it gets right in there I think that's all right yep it's fine on there and we'll start peering up so obviously E600 is good but not for this sort of thing too much right give that a really good cure Hopefully, yeah, yep, that's fine. Put some more on there because I don't trust it. Sorry if I'm getting this torch in your way. curing up nicely should be cleared up okay so how am I going to get this lot in I'm going to put those two them in there so I know they're in That's got too much of the powder in it. Some of this. I'm going to put it in the middle. Some of this. If I can get it open, that is. Yeah. I'll make sure I think I've resined it <laughs> God, that was a bit of a struggle don't want too much silver and then oh come on get in there and some of this the snow Bit of 
bit mirrored vessel on. See what other glitters I've got that might be a bit more Christmassy. Uh, I've got any here. Excuse me a minute, I'm just fiddling. This one, oh, love this one. Absolutely adore this glitter. Right. And then we'll have a bit of tinsel one in there. Um, what else can we put in? I'm just looking in my glitters, see what other ones there are. I've got something like that in there. I think there is. I think that's about it. Oh, look at this. If I can get into it, that is. These corks disintegrate on you. I think this is very much like this one, actually. I think. Yeah, I think it's the same. Thank you. Looking at it. This is the one I'm thinking of. It's like um, long shards of glitter. So I have a bit of that. Sorts of little glitters. Don't really want them. Do I want yellow in there? The little stars. That'd be quite cute, I suppose. Little yellow stars. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, they've got like a shimmer to them. A little shimmer. Yeah. Okay. I think that's. Just about enough. Uh, so, some little. Oh, come here, you. Let's put some little green ones in as well. Give it a bit of colour, so it's not all white. Okay. That would do. going to go on the bottom now this is where it's going to get interesting because I don't know if I'm going to be able to seal it all with my UV oh, look at the shape of that go round get round I've got to save some for the hole. I 
don't mind it coming out the side Ready? Let's put it on. Get it sitting right. That's sitting right. Excuse my head. Yeah, that's sitting okay. Probably just made it warp. <laughs> so let's cure that all up. Pushed it a bit too far one way. Never mind. Okay, that looks like it's secured. So then, because I know there might be holes, what I'm going to do is some all around the outside like so Oops, I've got a bit okay and then with this because it's the same as what's already on there. Uh, stick that on. Oh, things everywhere this bag. Push it all in to that wet UV resin. with it all I just lodge it on somehow <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me not bothered if it uh, goes up the glass at all that's fine as long as all these little holes are filled up that's all I care about all the little holes get them all filled up there I've lost track of where I was right that should hopefully I filled any gaps up oh god covered in it and then give it a, a cure hopefully it will work
right. Hopefully that'll be all right. What a mess. hair attached to it there. God knows how that got in there. Oh, it's one of mine and all. <laughs> well, can't be anybody else's, can it? Stupid woman. And then when you see it, hopefully, hopefully I've put enough in there. Hopefully there's enough go away hair. Hopefully there's enough around the edge and it's secured it all up. So, the next step is the fun step. Oh, God. <laughs> Hang on. Let me get a baby wipe and clean your hands off a bit. Really, even messing around with UV, you should have gloves on. It's my own fault. Okay, let me just clear some of this up out the way. So the next step will be to drill a hole in the wood from the bottom up into the sphere. And then from there, you put in either 50-50 of uh, baby oil and water or glycerin. I think I've got glycerin, so I should go and have a nose. Be back in a minute. Okay, I've got my little drill. Now on. Now I got to judge where I think it's going to be. This is going to be fun. Uh, about there, I think. I hope. Yeah. Lost me bit. That wasn't done up very tight, was it? Oh, there. Maybe the bit's not big enough. glycerin in this I've got some water from the kettle this is going to take some filling up I know because it's only a little hole and it's only a little bottle 
Let's stick it up the hole and squirt it in. Basically, you keep doing that until it's full up. I'm going to put that over there and I'm going to put that in there so I can quite happily fill it. Oh, hopefully. I'm getting absolutely smothered in this white stuff. Okay. I shall keep doing this, keep filling it up until it's done and I shall be back and I shall show you how I seal it up and everything. So, see you soon. Right, I filled it up, I've had to fill that in and I've made another hole. I filled it up, so you've literally got a little tiny bubble, I can't get any further than that. So, turn it upside down again. I've had a lot of trouble with this, to be quite honest, with leaks. I've had to fill loads of little holes in. So, what I do is I put some UV on there. And cure it up. And then on top of that, what I'm going to do... I've got these feet, these little plastic feet and all I'm going to do is, once that's cured, hopefully I've got all the holes, I'm going to leave it like this I think to dry off properly. Okay so what I'm going to do is Put a foot there, put a foot there, put a foot there, and put a foot there. And just put these on. So hopefully they will stay. And also it won't scratch any furniture up when you have them out for Christmas. And then just give them a cure. When it comes to the domey bit, I up, right, it finished, but I've got yet another leak here. I've polished it up and it's just gone all cloudy i think the problem is is either this isn't polished up enough so it's still full of scratches but it looks pretty clean to me um or it's because of maybe the glitter i used on this one has got like a powder in it so that might have made it, this one, sorry, this one might have made it go um, all misty. Or the only other thing I can think of, I had to use some tap water and also um, I didn't have a lot of glycerin. So it doesn't quite fall very well. So if I turn it upside down, hopefully you can sort of see. But it's very cloudy, very, very cloudy. So I'm going to have a go at a different, another one. So it will probably be maybe back to back. I think what I might do is uh, do it without video in it and put it at the end of this one so you can actually see. Because you've seen the, the, the steps that I do, making this and things like this. But this time I'm not putting the stuff on the wood straight away. I will glue this to wood first. And obviously inside I will have whatever I'm having inside. 
and I'll put some different glitter in it. And I'm going to have to get some more glycerin because I didn't realise that my bottle was... Um, sorry, you've only got half my face, haven't you? <laughs> Not that you really want to see all of it. Um, I had it in my cupboard underneath and it fell over. Where, I, where I, somehow I'd resined the, the, the actual top on, I put a hole in the top. Of course, where it fell over, I've lost all the glycerine. It's all in a little tub down there, but it's mixed with all sorts. So I've got some clearing up to do. So that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to wait to, to get some more glycerine. It's not expensive, but I mean, I can only get like a little one like this from, say, Asda or Tesco's out of the bakery section. So either that or baby oil. But I don't have that either. I don't think. I'm sure I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't used baby oil for 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 years. I used to down with it on. Cook myself. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna have another go and uh try again. And uh as you can see, I don't know if that's oh no, that's the glue. I've used uh the E six hundred, six thousand, E six thousand on it. Hate thing that's gonna glue it all up. So yeah, I'm a bit bit miffed. Didn't quite work how I wanted it to. But I'm gonna have another go. But this time actually this time I've got another idea. So I will video it so you can see what I'm doing. It's a bit of a crazy idea. Um but you might like it. Keep watching. I'll be doing another video. See you later. Bye.